One day, an ordinary boy will be transported to an extraordinary world oh beyond the boundaries of his imagination, to a time of mystery and enchantment, to a place where the forces of good combat the forces of evil. The enemy grows stronger. I can't leave them. They need me here. MGM Pictures and Law Brothers Productions invite you to a remarkable world in their live-action fantasy adventure, Warriors of Virtue. Do they fight with Kung Fu? They use the force of nature's elements. Wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. I think everyone is intrigued with the notion of five heroes, each representing a virtue. The film stars Mario Yadidia, who plays Ryan Jeffers, the young boy whose life is forever changed upon entering the magical world of Tao. <gasps> Ryan gets kind of transformed into the world of Tao. And there he learns about good, he learns about evil, he learns about temptation. Touch Tao. On his journey of self-discovery, Ryan is befriended by Alicia, played by Marley Shelton. You're really a newcomer? Alicia is great because she represents all of human nature, both sides. I think that everybody has a light side and a dark side. The evil warlord Komodo is played by Angus McFadden, last seen in the Academy Award winning film Braveheart. He's just pure uh, darkness and the enjoyment of pure uh, evil without guilt, without shame. He's simply the villain. What's the point of power if you don't abuse people? In order to restore harmony to the land of Tao, young Ryan must join forces with the Rue warriors. Let's go. Cool. The producers behind this new fantasy action film are not Hollywood veterans, but are in fact career doctors. It's much harder making a, a movie than doing surgery because in surgery, in the operating room, no matter how complicated the case, I'm the only one in charge. The film's Rue Warriors were created by award-winning animatronic designer Tony Gardner of famed Alterian Studios. Each warrior was controlled by a team of four puppeteers. The Rue Warriors' kung fu fighting style was carefully paced and rehearsed by action choreographer Suman Choi. To bring this action adventure to life on the big screen, the producers turned to veteran Hong Kong director Ronnie Yu. And we're constantly looking for a new way to tell a story in terms of like lighting, in terms of camera movement, in terms of how do we uh, photograph a scene. Academy Award winning production designer Eugenio Zanetti helped visualize and create the film's mythical land of Tao. Thirteen sets were built on six large sound stages at the Beijing studios. To expect a, a, a hundred people to work together in a closed environment is, uh, is, is tough to begin with. To expect a hundred people who don't speak the same language. And she brings them here. To work together is, is really a formidable task. guy. When it comes to action scenes, he's one of these guys. And then... One of those kind of guys. Well, I really like the audience to sit there and, and experience the film and just be plastered against their seat and say, and say to themselves, gee, this is just unbelievable.
Remember, here's the yeah. end. You have to do a high on the style, okay? Yeah, okay. So that yeah, that's okay. That yeah. works. Stop. Okay. Stop. Very expensive wine because they have a so nice on it. I think it's very special. Pure or anything. Snake wine. It's probably a, uh, it's probably 180 proof. That's all right. <laughs> no, actually, I'm gonna. 